and welcome to another week in my life working nine to five and working on youtube doing all of the things and i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling really tired today and i don't want to work out but i'm gonna do it anyway just gotta show up see what happens if it's not a good workout that's fine but i just have to show up and do it so so far this morning brandon and i woke up at about 5 30 and i just read on the couch until he left at like 6 35 is when he leaves then i made breakfast and got that down and it is just before seven o'clock now and i am going to head to the gym today is a running day so i'm going to run for about 30 minutes i'm doing like a 5k training program right now and then i'm going to spend the second half of the workout doing a little bit of a probably upper body lifting workout so that is the move for right now let's go get it done Okay, I am done working out. I'm showered. I'm basically ready for work. My hair does not look incredible today, but I'm probably going to throw it up in a claw clip and just call it a day. I forgot to put on sunscreen. I needed to do that, but I feel better after working out. I definitely feel a lot more awake, which is one thing. Whenever I feel like not working out because I'm tired, I always just remind myself it always makes me feel more awake and more ready for the day when I go and work out. So I did that. My run for the day was, it was a five minute warm up, 90 seconds of running, 90 seconds of walking, and then three minutes running, three minutes walking, repeat the 90 and three minutes again, one more time. So yeah, it was like a two mile-ish walk run and I'm feeling good about it. Then I just did some arms as you guys saw, just some biceps and triceps. And now I am ready for the day. I am ready for the day. Like I feel, I feel ready for today. Life updates. Brandon and I are looking for a house in the indie area somewhere. We are not looking to buy a house because we don't have a down payment at all yet, but we are looking to rent because Brandon is sick of living in an apartment. And I don't know, I could stay here for another year, but Brandon is definitely ready to have a house and it'll be fun to have the house. So get excited for moving vlogs in the next three months. I'm throwing my hair in a claw clip, but I don't know if I've ever seen, shown you guys how I do it. So basically, I wanted to do that today. I'm no expert, but this is just what I do. So I get my pieces out in front so I don't look like a pubescent boy. And then I just collect it in the back like a low ponytail. And then I just start twisting to the right as I kind of pull it upwards. I don't know if you guys can see that. Twisting as I go up and I just keep twisting it to the right. And then I take my claw clip and I kind of grab some from the side, pull it up over, and then really squeeze the claw clip down around my very thick hair. Hopefully you guys could hear me talking because I was turned around, but there we go. Usually it stays, sometimes it doesn't, and I have to redo it and kind of grab more hair or less hair or whatever. But yeah, that's how I put my hair in a claw clip. And now I'm ready for the day. See, I don't look too awful also the shirt is from target and these pants are thrifted they're my leather pants fake leather i get compliments on them which i don't normally get on clothes that i wear so let's go to work hey guys i think i'm very quickly steaming up yeah it is so muggy out here today i'm on my lunchtime walk and it's only 89 degrees right now but it feels like it's like over 100 and it's supposed to be 98 tomorrow and 99 the next day. So I don't know how long my walk is going to be the next couple days. But I'm going to do my best <laughs> to go on my full walk and hopefully not be too sweaty when I get back from work. If you guys wonder, I just deal with being a tiny bit sweaty when I go back after my lunchtime walk. So I don't know. No one said anything to me yet at work. <laughs> 
about being sweaty and red faced. <laughs> Basically, I don't care. My health and wellness is more important than people's thoughts about me. So, here I am walking. <sighs> it's been a pretty good morning so far. Gotten a lot of work done. I feel like Mondays I really get into like creating content. And that's what I've been doing. There's a person coming, so I'm gonna stop talking. I'm home. I look like crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's because I got rained on. There's my hair. I don't know what's going on. Brandon made dinner. It's editing time. I feel like my life is so repetitive. <laughs> We're making popcorn. watched night at the museum and it is now time for me to stretch but you're not gonna see that in this video you will see it in my stretching video that will be out at the beginning of next month because I'm stretching for 30 days straight 13 days into the challenge and so far I've stretched every single day sometimes think some sometimes because what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say sometimes because Brandon has reminded me to do it but I've done it every night and I'll do it tonight so, I'm going to stretch. larger than this so I put it in my French press glass thing because I don't have any bigger glasses but this actually wasn't that large but it's pretty good just got some bananas and strawberries and spinach and chia seeds and some protein powder so gonna drink this and work out Brandon left a little early for work today because he works outside and it's gonna be like 99 today so he's trying to get a jump start on it while it's not ridiculously hot out so he left a little bit early and I am just gonna do my normal morning routine so let's go work out I think I'm gonna do a Cindy Cummings workout today just because I feel like it Cindy Cummings workout. Um, honestly, Brandon called me. Uh, Brandon calls me a lot in the mornings because he drives in the mornings. He has to go to where he's working at. But yeah, we just chatted for a little bit and because of that, I didn't do a Cindy Cummings workout, which was totally fine. I did a chest workout, which honestly was super hard. Like my chest. I was struggling to wash my face in the shower because my arms were so tired. It's kind of crazy, but I need to leave for work like this minute. So I'm packing snacks, got my popcorn from yesterday. I'm gonna spill it, but I am ex I'm not excited for work. What am I saying? I am, I like, I like my job. I really do. Like I honestly do like my job. I, I like this job more than any other job I've ever had, but like it's still just, Going to an office and just sitting at a desk all day kind of sucks. I don't know if I'm ever actually going to get used to that and not completely dread it every day. I don't completely dread it every day, but you get 
guys know what I mean if you work nine to fives or if you work at all, honestly. You can like work, but it's still not what you want to be doing. Which is why I, I always take an hour long lunch break. I take advantage of that because I don't want to sit at a desk all day. I want to live my life. I want to do things with my life. I want to live for me, not for work, you know? But I still do a good job at work, I like to think. Out here looking super lovely and great. I look like a 12 year old boy. And it's really hot out here, but I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt today. I did not wear this to work, obviously, but I brought the t-shirt with me and threw shorts in my bag, which I think I mentioned to you guys this morning that I was gonna do that. Still getting my walk in, even though it feels like freaking hell out here. So hot. I'm listening to Atomic Habits right now on my walk. Just got home from work and ate some dinner. I'm trying to decide whether or not I need to wash my hair. Yeah, I need to wash my hair. So I guess I'm gonna wash my hair. Also, lighting just dramatically changed, but I have been using this shampoo recently, this Paul Mitchell, which has been awesome and I love it and it was making my hair so soft. So when I ran out of my conditioner, I bought this also from Paul Mitchell. It's like extra body conditioner and I hate it. I like can't get it all out of my hair. It makes my hair like, I don't know, like stringy and stry and I just, it's awful. So I bought it and so I'm gonna finish it, but it's huge. So that's frustrating. I was telling them about my crappy conditioner. Well, this is just cause my hair is crazy. <laughs> right after I wash it, it's like, I don't know. I can't get it all out or like, I don't know what it is. You gotta rinse it better. I rinsed it so well last time. Not well enough. Well, I don't know. I might have to go back to my cheap conditioner. <laughs> but I'm gonna shower now. It is Wednesday morning and I'm feeling pretty sleepy this morning because I started reading a financial book after I finished my last book that I was reading, which I'm probably not going to read it tonight because when I read like financial books, especially right before bed, I just lay in bed and I'm like processing numbers and thinking about what house we can afford and how quickly we could pay it off at this payment. and. It's, it's just, it's not good. I literally was like pulling my phone out and like using my calculator and then putting it back down and then I like pulled it out again and then I put it back down and I pulled it out because I wanted to look at houses and the price range that I think we can afford and I did that for a little while and I put it back. So basically I need to go back to reading fiction books at night and not nonfiction, but I need to break my this now. I'm worked out and it is time to go to work. I don't really want to, but Wednesdays, Wednesdays are good days because it's date night, which is always nice. And my video is done for Thursday, so I don't have to do any YouTube work this afternoon. So that means all I have to do is finish work and then the rest of the week is easy. So made it through the hard part of the week and we are moving on to the easy part of the week and I'm excited. I was feeling so kind of self-conscious about this shirt today because, gonna be honest, it's a little small in my arms. Like, it is kind of super tight, like, in through here. Like, I can not, I can't do this very well. And I like to tell myself that it's because I have muscle there, which is probably partially true, but I don't know. I've just been having a lot of, maybe it's body dysmorphia or maybe I'm actually gaining weight. I don't know, it's hard to tell when you struggle with body dysmorphia, but what you gonna do? 
So I've just been trying to eat healthy and make sure that I'm eating my five workouts in a week. And if I can do those two things, I feel good about it. So it doesn't matter what I weigh as long as I'm healthy. And I'm healthy and I haven't weighed myself in months anyway, so I don't even know what I weigh, but that stresses me out too. Just reality. I don't have any advice for that. Well, I don't know, I do. Just focus on being healthy, that's it. But it's still hard sometimes, you know? It is Wednesday afternoon now and Brandon and I are actually headed to a house to look at it for potentially renting it, which is very exciting. You guys know, if you've been following along, that we are moving out of our apartment probably in September. So we're looking for houses to rent around here and this is the first one we're actually getting to view. So I'm gonna take you guys along. Hopefully we like it. The pictures were pretty good, so we'll see. You are calling about one of our available properties. Press two. Hello. We're making root beer floats. Also, I have updates about housing things, but I'll tell you guys in a second. We got this Zuvia root beer for the first time. I just tried it. Tastes like root beer. It tastes like root beer. This is great. It's I clear. Like I know, I noticed that. It's like super not root beer colored. I think that's because they don't put the dyes in it that don't actually need to be in things. Updates on housing things. We did not see a house tonight, as you guys can probably tell from the lack of footage between then and now. But basically we got there and we couldn't get the code to get inside the house because it was like a self-guided tour. So we messaged people on the website through like the help thing and then eventually we called someone, which you guys saw, and they were like, yeah, that's not actually able to be rented anymore, like someone just rented it. I don't think I mentioned that we also bought these glasses at Meyer, so now we're official root beer float people and also beer people. I have my ring light on and I feel like I really like the lighting right now, so hello. We just watched Night at the Museum and had root beer floats, and yeah, it was a pretty good night, but I feel like we are a little bit frustrated we didn't get to see that house, and just frustrated in general with like the moving process, because we have to give notice 60 days before we move out of this apartment, like 60 days before our lease is up, but there's like, I feel like no way that we're actually going to have somewhere settled that we're going to live in 60 days, and it's just frustrating. Moving is frustrating because I feel like you have to know where you're going to move before you know where you're going to move. I don't know how we did this in three weeks when we moved to Indy, but I guess maybe it's less stressful if you do it in three weeks because then you only have three weeks to stress about it instead of like three months, but whatever. We will find somewhere to live and if we don't, we can be homeless. That's cool. Probably not, but <laughs> we were like homeless for like a week when we moved here. We lived at Brandon's grandparents for like a week because we didn't have this place signed as a lease yet so I don't know it's stressful but we'll figure it out and I'll bring you guys along with us probably gonna go to sleep here soon actually I have to read and journal still but anyways I'm gonna stop rambling and I'll see you guys tomorrow a girl just cause you wanted to Not thinking about what you made it do She started doing her hair and makeup all just for you Only because you kissed a girl when you wanted to slightly concerning that I just put a new battery in and it says that it's halfway dead. Oh, did I? I'm confused. Okay, this is saying this battery is dead, so I'm gonna go figure it out. Okay, so my battery is almost dead, both of them are almost dead, so I'm talking really fast, and this may be the last clip of this vlog because uh, I might not be able to finish the vlog if both of my batteries are dead. So far, it seems as if, as if this battery is working. It is fully charged. I had it charging on a different charger all day, so I don't think there's something wrong with my battery, but there might be something wrong with my other charger. So there's that. I'm still here. We just had dinner. I had a good day at work. 
I've been feeling kind of behind on things for like the whole week, but I feel like I kind of caught up today. I've been doing a lot more like reels and I have discovered that I can basically import the audio from reels on to Premiere Pro and then edit it in Premiere Pro, which is the editing software that I use both at work and here. So that's been really fun because I can really add it to the beat of the music and it just makes it a lot easier. So that's been exciting. I get to do video editing at work, which is super fun because I love editing videos. And yeah, it was a good day. Tomorrow's Friday, I'm super excited. I am doing a morning routine tomorrow, which actually means I might just end this vlog right here. I think that I have enough footage and it's been a fun week following you guys along. But if you want to see a very detailed morning routine, I will be filming it tomorrow, so it should be up right after this video. So this will be up Monday, and then that video will be up on Thursday. So make sure that you are subscribed in order to see that. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.